einen wunderschönen guten Abend, meine lieben Freunde. Wir sind zurück in Disco Elysium mit Beschäftigung und Aufklärung eines Falls. Wir haben einen Seitenausgang gefunden. Könnte sein, dass dort unser Raucher zu finden ist. Sie hat gesagt auf Nummer 26, glaube ich. Der Breaker Box ist full of cigarette butts. Yes. Hm, mehr Geld. Just a door, nothing for you here to see. Mehr Geld. Hm. Ich glaube, sie sind versteckt. Wenn sie so blau sind, habe ich sie mit irgendetwas wahrgenommen, irgendwas Speziellem. Someone's growing rosemary, thyme and a cactus. This is the door to apartment number 29. Mm -hmm. 20 and 30. Voices from within singing along to some buoyant dance track. This door is made of metal and appears to be reinforced. Someone here really values their security. Mm -hmm. Number 28. This is where the cleaning lady said the smoker on the balcony lives. Let's see if anyone's home. Knock on the door. No one answers. Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. I think our best chance to catch him is in the evening. Mm -hmm. We should return tomorrow after we have finished with our day's work. How about 9 p.m.? Sound good? The smoker on the balcony. This is why we are here, right? He might know something about the murder. So tomorrow 9 p.m.? Suddenly, he's a little worried about your memory. Don't worry. It's mostly all still here. You can remember things. You got this. <laughs> Sounds good. Tomorrow, 21 o'clock. Tomorrow, 9 p.m., right here. Apartment number 28. Good, let's go. Damn. Turns out it's quite tricky finding someone in a big apartment building. Don't worry. You'll get him. Remember, tomorrow. He's probably gone for today. Okay. Morgen, nicht vergessen. Das ist die Folge 315 wahrscheinlich erst. Okay, aber wir scheinen mehr oder weniger fertig zu sein hier. Na dann, wieder raus mit uns. Schauen wir mal, was die Lady im Boot zu sagen hat. Wie wir ja das letzte Mal schon gesehen haben. Als wir mit der Konzeptart, mit dem Konzeptartist gesprochen haben. Was? Mhm. Ja, was was abgeschlossen? Ah ja, das da. Na gut, ähm. Try to sneak up on me again! Try to snuff me out! Mhm. Get away! Ich habe die rote Farbe. Uh. Mantel. Hm. 
Captain's Mantle. End of Suggestion minus End of Half-Life bleibt. Ich esse nebenbei Mochis. This classic double-breasted coat suits everyone, including you. And if you ever find yourself battling winds in the helm of a ship, then the coat heavy fabric has got your back, even if moths have left a few holes. Mm. A cup question is done. I'm a hum. Das ist wahrscheinlich die Tür, die nach innen führt. Wir haben ja dort auch eine Exit-Tür gesehen. Können wir von da auch mit ihr sprechen? Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? Okay. Die Frau im Boot. A striking woman leans against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Mhm. Mm Good afternoon, officers. I'm Joyce. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the mm -hmm. owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. She steps closer and holds out her hand over the railing. What does the L stand for? I'm glad to see you here. Her grip is tight. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will. Gladly. That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very unusual. <laughs> But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. There's a trace of irony in his voice. Mischief, even. This is a tactic. How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation and the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. It's hard to get a read on her precise disposition, but she appears helpful. Okay, you're on a boat. Tell me about Wild Pines. What do you do? What can you tell me about this strike? What can you tell me about this link? Do you know something about these tattoos? Thank you. Okay, you're on a boat. Why, Starting with damn it. Hmm. She looks at the deck under her feet. Green and white sails flutter overhead. Not a lot of people on boats are there. Does she have a name? A boat? No. It is called Cordelati. 19, because that's the type of sloop it is. Langweilig. The word, it, feels strange. Such a beautiful boat deserves a proper name. Cool, but your boat really needs a name. Okay. How about Cordel H19? Why? Hm. Because it was manufactured in Revishal East by a company called Cordel H. And its hull is 19 paces long. How about the sleek fish? How about the X something? How about Dolores? Okay. Why Dolores? It feels pretty. I just like the name for some reason. 
Hmm. Well, it means nothing to me. I think I'll stick with the factory name. But thank you for the suggestion. Okay, but what kind of boat is it? It's a pleasure craft. A 19 pacer. It also happens to be rated for Category 1 racing. Okay. Though these days I mainly use it for business. Uh, My sloop? I like it a lot. It's the eel's hips, baby. The eel's hips, baby. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. <laughs> I really do, the lieutenant thinks. Is she thrown off yet? He's looking at the woman, assessing her. Not a lot of people on boats are there. Do we have a license for this boat? Of course there are. We're on an archipelago. How else are you supposed to get around? Wait, we're on an archipelago? What do you mean, archipelago? <laughs> I mean, we are on Le Caillou, are we not? Okay. She raises her brow. Um, I thought we were in Revachol. Still, I haven't seen anyone else sail a boat around here. On the boat about this boat of yours. We are, and the city of Revachol is on the island of Lakayu. Still, I haven't seen anyone else sail a boat around here. I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped-up Coupri Kenema motor carriage either. Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle. It's for crossing long distances in the Greater Revachol Industrial Harbour. It's not a toy. Neither is this. A toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Revachol, between the city and the islands. You need to make this lady admit she's only riding around on this boat because she's rich. Um, why? Why what? Stop thinking. Take her down. <laughs> It'll come off like I'm envious and I'm not. Why am I even thinking about this? I have police work to do. Actually, yes. I need to nail him. Yeah, ja, natürlich. Nieder mit der Kapitalisten, Ante. Charge, you've got the guns and the ammo. Let's talk about the economics of the... Oh my, the E-word. You mean to say that it's a symbol of conspicuous consumption? That I'm a member of the ruling class. Precisio mundo. Class wartime, baby. No, it's a symbol of our subjugation to foreign capital. That kind of capital. Mm. Okay. Ich bin nicht ganz sicher, ob ich sie grantig machen soll. Detective, may I remind you that Mrs. Messier is a professional negotiator? It doesn't look like he thinks you'll best her in single combat. Then what does that say? Does it say docking reserved for residents of Rue de saint Gislaine, 33A? 33A? This old proletarian haunt here? As I said, plenty of people drive boats of all social strata. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, das ist ein Risk we could take. Das ist acht oder höher, was wir würfeln müssen hier. Reaction Speed. Gerade Reaction Speed, Mist. Ah, können wir das während des Dings boosten? Nein, natürlich nicht. Und ich glaube, zu diesem Ding kommen wir nie wieder. Na naja, gut. Let's try it. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. She takes a sip. Okay. Something is about to happen. Point to your head in here. <laughs> of course. 
nothing happens for quite a while. They will come from my head, the arguments. <laughs> okay. It doesn't. <laughs> My, it's as if there's a tiny spinner on the side of his head and he's reeling thoughts out. Except he isn't. <laughs> the lieutenant is satisfied with where this is going. <laughs> what is going to come out of my head and into my mouth? And I will say it. Of course. Keep doing it. Lieutenant, I truly don't understand what is happening here. I told you his methods are... Unconventional. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I swear to God, I am usually sharp. I don't know what happened. Why am I not killing it? Your marbles on glass, dear. Don't worry. What were we talking about anyway? It was quite a while ago, but I think yes, we were discussing my fast, large, ineluctably middle-class boat, officer. I assure you, I'm a highly qualified pleasure craft. The crowns of her yeah, teeth yeah. are porcelain, white as the boat's hull as she smiles. Her nonchalance might be related to something called the Wayfarer Act, a law that says she doesn't need a license. Sly Fox, you're not aggressive enough to harass her further on this. I don't think I have a handle on the boat thing. Good. Tell me about Wild Pines. Okay. War das jetzt genügend Zeug, um sie durcheinander zu bringen? You seem smart. I need someone to give me a lowdown on this reality we're in. This reality? She pulls her hood closer about her neck. Okay. Yes, reality is your side case. <laughs> An experimental side An case. Experimental side case. <laughs> I'm conducting a personal investigation into the world I find myself in. I got so drunk, I forgot literally everything. No time to explain, just give me the lowdown. Actually, now is not a good time for a reality lowdown, maybe later. How truly curious. A sort of philosopher detective. My theory is that this inquiry into the nature of reality will ultimately converge with our murder investigation. They are really one and the same. Are they now? The Lieutenant Cox one eyebrow. A deep synthesis. I'll assist you however I can then. Go ahead. Ask. All right. We're in. I know these all look good. But begin with the first, okay? Where are we? Warte mal, das ist... Oh. Ah, das ist aber nett. Da kriegen wir ein Plus. Für verschiedene Sachen. What is... Hmm. Where are we? Fangen wir damit. Martinez, baby. Baby? Hmm. Hmm. A casual term of endearment popular among the 50 plus crowd. It's a disco holdover, pay it no heed. I'm a disco holdover myself. <laughs> Aren't we all? She refers to your corresponding ages. Ah, ja, aber ich bin auch disco generell. Ich sing auch Karaoke. Mm -hmm. And what is... Martinez is a district of Revachol. A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbour, north of the 881 and Jamrock. You would be excused for not knowing mm -hmm. about it. Unimportant, they say. Forgotten, even. Shelled to smithereens during the revolution. It has its charms, just not this time of year. Okay, that's Martinez. Shawl. Tell me more about Martinez. I'm not a good ambassador. I've only been here once before, as a teenager. Not a lot has changed. There are ruins, a terminal, fishing boats, reeds, boys with boxy shoulders. 
This place used to be a province, a workers' resort before the city swallowed it and the artillery did its work. The reeds are the real star of the show here now. The further down the coast, the wilder it gets. You mentioned the sea. What sea is this? It's not really a sea. It's the Bay of Revachol. And the bay feeds into the ocean. Are we near the ocean? Yes. We are on an island in an ocean. The world's largest body of water. The Insulindic. Okay. Known to the early Revacholians as Les Immensité Bleu. The Blue Immensities. Okay. Vast, lukewarm and unknowable. Flowing in and out. Haben wir nicht Sons. gesagt, dass du ruhig bist, Inland Empire? What the name, what's the name of this island? Caillou, as you already know. Imagine a pebble. A smoothed over pebble amidst a great blue sea. Misshapen, cracked. The cracks are the river Esperance. We're in the delta of this river, on the sixth branch, the Martinez distributary. It is clear this mm -hmm. pebble is of enormous value to her, and to humanity at large. Okay, that's Martinez. What's Revachol? Revachol is what you call a city. The great kind. Okay. As if it's self-explanatory, beyond patriotism. A fact. What makes Ravishol history detective? They built this city to resolve history. Our part in it, at least. Our centuries. Okay. Okay, who built the nations of the Occident, or migrant workers from Seminine and Il Mara, depending on your creed. And was Ravishol built? In the Delorean century. Three hundred and eighty years ago. Okay. And why will it resolve history? They say it's where the terrible questions of our time will be answered. The tensions are highest, the fault lines deepest. Okay. By that I mean conflicts. Ideological conflicts. The stuff of men. Why here? We are standing on a fertile, self-sufficient island able to sustain up to 200 million people in the middle of the Insulindic Ocean. The world's connected tissue. It's where the money is. Ah, okay. So we're in an unimportant part of an important place? I think it's fair to say so. Martinez is about... Okay. 22 kilometers from the center of the world. That soldering iron is the bank of the world building. The bottom floors are in Siacom. Coalition government in Silindian Mission Command. Okay. Silence. She lowers her hand. The water, the light. It's as though you're seeing it for the first time. Okay. There is no recognition. Only the immensity <gasps> of the, the cold, cold radiating from it. Wusste nicht, dass wir das überhaupt haben. Where are we? I don't know any of this. Say nothing, observe the large body of water swelling. Cold. She observes your eyes scanning the horizon, then breaks ah. the silence slowly. Okay, a new idea. This is what you need to complete. Where are you? Ah, Was there okay. something else you wanted to know? I remember something about a lowdown. This has been informative. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sure my memory impaired partner has many more questions to ask about even more fundamental aspects of reality. <laughs> Might I suggest not asking them all right now? Ma'am, Monsieur will be here later too, and tomorrow. Isn't that true, ma'am? Absolutely. My commitment here is long term. You're right, Lieutenant. I'll continue later. But I want to know everything now. Oder? But won't I be lazy if I don't do it all now? It's okay. better not to eat all your candy at once. Indeed. I'm always at your service. Hmm. What times are these? Okay, yeah. Um, er hat vollkommen recht. Wir werden nicht weiter fragen hier. 
Vor allem das, das schaffen wir sowieso nicht. Da müssen wir schauen, ob wir irgendwelche Boni kriegen. Da kann man noch mal Boni kriegen. Ist Predecor und Conceptualization. That's all for now. Glad to have been of assistance. The little that I know. Anything else I can do? Okay, na dann. Äh, fragen wir sie gleich mehr Zeug zum Fall. Fragen wir sie mal, was sie über die Tattoos weiß. Warum nicht? I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. So you know something about the tattoos? Better not tie the fourth day to the bat's day on this. I hope there is something else I can help you with. She wants to answer the question. Protocol keeps her from it. Okay, na gut. Dann fragen wir sie zuerst mit Wild Pines. What we do. I'm afraid I don't speak for Wild Pines as a whole. It, it's a giant undertaking. Na dann erzähl uns, was du machst. There was a touch of discomfort there. She wants to merely represent. What do they do? The Pines' core competency is logistics. Container shipping, freight, that sort of thing. See those <laughs> airships there, blinking? Those are the shipping side of things. And that mm -hmm. is the terminal. Another subdivision deals with energy. Oil and gas exploration. Offshore platforms. Mm -hmm. The Wild Pines group is one of the original Revisholian Indo tribes. Companies awarded royal monopolies by the king, the suzerain himself, centuries ah. ago. The king is long gone, but several of the Indo tribes remain. Here. Quasi wie die Ost, uh, the East Indian Trading Company or so was in the Richtung. Who are the other in Dutch? Son Baptiste, L-U-M, an unknown entity known as Brightest Star. Why, thank you. <laughs> I'm not at liberty to discuss the company balance sheet, but I can tell you that last year, the company booked more than 20 billion real in revenue. That's it? Old Wild Pines was supposed to be to be big time. <laughs> <laughs> and to think, there are years when the group books losses in the billions. Okay, a wave hits the sloop. She grasps the mainstay for... Walpines employ 72,000 people, all of whom have families that depend on their salaries. It is mm -hmm. a tremendous responsibility. Oh, the almond. Where does Walpines get all it these? It as an exploration and cargo fleet conducting trade between the Samaran and Insulindian Easterlers 250 years ago. When pine ships explored the South Seminese and charted Lormantang on behalf of the suzerain. Centuries of care, deliberation and madness have gone into this endeavor. Vessels pass through the great unrest to re-emerge with apricots in tow. The logic of the system is totalizing. It's taken everything from its employees to build it. Okay. It's probably it probably helps to start out with a royal monopoly. You know more than you let on. Certainly it helped, but most of the original Indo tribes have failed or been absorbed. To survive, Wild Pines had to grow and adapt. No suzerain did that. What does such a huge system want with a place like this? You mean aside from being the terminal's legal owners, who are responsible for moving eight percent of the world's cargo? 8% of all cargo in the world. That's quite an endeavor indeed. Don't keep it moving, the workers do. The company is nothing without them. Mm. Yeah, never there are no minor cogs in the system. Each turn oh, must fault. be accounted for, lest the entire system break. Every hiccup in such a system means thousands lose their jobs, the world over. I'm here to assure that doesn't happen. With your help, hopefully, says her warm tongue. 
everything. Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. Wait, what if I want to hear about trade secrets? First, you'd have to repeal the Emergencies Act of Trade and Elements. That gives me the right to silence. It's quite the octopus. Why? <laughs> By throwing off half a century of foreign domination under the coalition. Unfortunately for you, the coalition also leases you the right to police the West Revachol. Mm -hmm. You'd be shooting yourself in the foot, in other words. But I am derailing us. Mm -hmm. You wanted to know about the strike. What is your role in this precise thing? I believe the official title is Senior Labour Negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines' counteroffer. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago, after that awful lynching took place. Now they won't even let me into the harbor. There's a 2 meter 20 racist behemoth blocking the gates. Hmm. You mean Jean Luc, my race mentor? He's a great teacher, a man of virtue. <laughs> Where the dog going before the lynching. Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. Mm -hmm. But the strike began in December. Hmm. Okay. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he'd granted the union in prior negotiations. This isn't the first time okay. the union has gone on strike. Vielleicht wollten wir uns die Leute fertig anhören. Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Both times the union won significant concessions including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. Mm -hmm. Ludicrous even. It's meant. Ah. What happened to this Gaumont? Mr. Clare told him to... How did he put it? Etwas sehr unfreundliches, nehme ich an. Fuck off, midget. Gaumont is short of stature, you see. <laughs> Okay, then. Yes. Keep in mind, this is a negotiator Mr. Clare has worked with before, and who was more than fair with him and the Union. Okay, what are their demands? There are leaflets everywhere, and banners. What do they say again? Oh, yes. Every worker, a member of the board. Okay, also sie wollen eine Verstaatlichung des Konzerns. Most of the workers probably don't know what that means. Hmm. I like it. I don't know what to think about that. What we're aggressive commie posturing. Seems like they have no idea about business. Forget it. I wanted to ask something else about the strike. Okay. Ah, uh, wir können hier eine eigene Meinung machen. Das ist die Kommunistenmeinung. Aber die Kommunistensache haben wir schon. Also ist uns das wohl. I don't know what to think about that. More aggressive commie posturing. Hmm. Fortunately, they explained it. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about anything, it needs the signature of each of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez terminal. Hmm, klingt gut. Klingt erfolgsversprechend. Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines Group. That's pretty funny, I have to admit. The workers can't be kings, the king is king. The king is dead, long live the workers. What are you going to do? Uh, I think it's pretty They're funny. They're having a blast. But how can they afford <laughs> it? 
After four months, my assumption was they would prefer a more practical solution. Okay. Tja, vielleicht verkaufen sie Drogen. I'm not sure. Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. A hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow-up. Just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. Mm -hmm. Eine Art Revolution ohne Revolution. And now, people are getting lynched, I hear. Behind the whirling in rags. A disastrous situation if there ever was one. Okay. Excuse me. From whom did you hear about this lynching? I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. The one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. I think he said it was, call me manana. <laughs> this can be shown. No, wait. The chief negotiator heard it from a man at the gates. Surely the Wild Pines group has more effective channels of information. After all, hmm. 2,200 people are on strike. This is a big deal for them. Hmm. Okay. The scabs? You mean the huddled masses of Jamrock come to plead for work where the Union refuses to? If they were organized by Wild Pines or its affiliates, then it would be a company secret. I could not share it with you. Not right now, at least. It's implied. Oh. She's open to discussing this matter with you at a later occasion. Mm -hmm. Everard Clare is a man of the utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. Really? Of course not. Everard is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo where you and I have blood. <laughs> say nothing. He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, more irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. Oh, listen, keep, keep the other phone. Yes, Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does, and when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. It's ah. how they circumvent the term limits, you see, with a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of their workers' dues. Okay. Hmm. What about the union itself? The Bardur's union was once a perfectly normal institution. Twenty years ago, anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act. But they did it. I can respect that. Mm -hmm. Organized labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the local chapter elections. The brothers Claire came and transformed it into a... How do you say? Hmm... Yeah, the Debardeurs are a crime syndicate. Sad as it may be, I suspect we'll be forced to cooperate with them. Refreshingly honest, officer. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Everard and his brother. And your opinion, detective? If I may ask. I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. Would you say the Debardeurs union is... Hmm. <laughs> okay. Ganz offensichtlich sind sie kein effective advocate for the rights of the local working men. Immerhin gibt es einige Arbeiter, die hier keine Arbeit mehr haben seit Monaten. Und die Forderung ist tatsächlich lächerlich. Hmm.
sagen wir, a giant leech sucking the life out of Ravishol. First of all, sie hört es gerne und zweitens... Indeed. And a hungry one. Sadly, while Pines have cooperated with what amounts to a crime syndicate for two decades, however much... Ja, das heißt, ihr seid schuld. The leech always hungers. Mhm. Mm I'm glad you asked. There was a woman, the previous forewoman of the Union. She disappeared. Oh. Disappeared? Yes. On the last das day of the chapter elections, her daughter phoned in and said she wasn't running anymore. Or coming to work. Ever. End of story. Um. Indeed. The company suspects foul play. But there's nothing they could do. It was a union matter. Okay. Na gut. The point of the presentation is, these kinds of things happen around the Clares. Watch out when you're dealing with him. Okay. Thank you for your concern, ma'am. We'll be just fine. Of course. Wir können ur viel mit ihr reden. Hm. What can you tell me about this lynching? Quite a few things, I'm afraid. The information I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. Ja, das könnte jetzt problematisch werden, nachdem wir unseren Namen noch immer nicht kennen. And this is my colleague from Precinct 41. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. How curious. Why is that, Detective? Awkwardness washes over the conversation. The woman doesn't like this turn of events. <laughs> Remember when my partner told you I'd recently suffered from an unusual medical episode? I see. <laughs> so are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? It's possible. After a night of heavy drinking, I lost all memory of my life and the world. Then, then, then. I could have eaten it for all I know. I don't remember anything. This world, this city, nothing. Um, yes? Oh dear. I suppose this does explain some of the more curious turns in our conversation. She must have been suspecting something for a while now. Okay. As I said, ma'am, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. Of course, I sympathize, but I'm afraid I simply can't share anything more until I've seen that badge. Hang on. She's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some sort of... Ah, good that we a suggestion genommen haben. How do I negotiate my way out of this? What kind of arrangement? Oh, versuchen wir das mal. She's a good. negotiator. Just float a favor. Isn't that for good? Insinuate. Surely there's some other way to demonstrate our law enforcement. Credentials. I will be frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to want to see something very tangible. You're in, but expect her to drive a hard bargain. Like what? Reports from inside Terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret in Martinez. The Union okay. controls the terminal, so it goes to reason. They're profiting from this trade. Yeah, klar. The company has tried looking into this matter before, to no avail. Perhaps someone with your authority and resources might turn over the right stones. Okay. Or you can recover your badge. Though, if I may be blunt with you, it sounds like that may be a lost cause. <laughs> Detective, a word in private before we continue. Excuse us for a moment, madam. Na gut, wir sprechen nochmal ganz kurz mit ihm und dann machen wir Schluss für heute. Hallo? Ich würde gerne mit ihm sprechen. This is not going quite as I hoped it would, Detective. How did you hope it would Honestly, go? I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance and you know, not volunteers to be her henchman. 
Oh, so we're henchmen now. Really? I thought it was going so well. This woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along. Or she's simply an adept improviser. Either way, we've played straight into her hands. He doesn't let it show. But there is a limit to how much the consequences of your unprofessional behavior can cost the investigation. Maybe this is all her plan. She might have heard about you. I'm sorry for putting us in this situation. I'll handle it. The company must have more ears on the ground. She could have known about my condition. What do you propose that we don't investigate the drug traffic? We could just, you know, find my badge. No. If there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, she could claim we are siding with the Union. Or that we are on their take. We'd never hear the end of it. What okay. I propose is, we ask her, then we investigate, briefly. But do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. We tell her it's done and demand for her information on the lynching. Oh, that's kind of good. The company was... Okay, nothing that we've got. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revishol with the okay. Union's blessing. Wild Pines has suspected it for years. Not ingredients good. for what, ma'am? Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quicker to say what you can't make from the stuff. Okay, let me get this straight. The materials come from Samara to Revashol through the terminal. Yes. After they clear the terminal, we lose track. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter, north of here. Wild Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, man. Do you mean to say the Union also produces the product? Sells drugs, I mean? We're in logistics. It's our business to know. And no. As far as the company knows, the Union does not produce it. They transport the ingredients for a cut. And you want us to investigate? Yes, but you won't get anything out of Everart and the Dock Workers Union. Still, every chain has its weak link. The handoff. The motor lorries at the roundabout. Mm -hmm. Am I going to need bolt cutters for these? Unlikely officer. I'm talking about the lorries. Once the ingredients reach Jamrock, they're distributed to a network of local manufacturers, well beyond our grasp. But in transit, they may be vulnerable. How convenient that they're stranded like beached whales at that roundabout. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Yeah, Interview it's the fast nicht aufgefallen. About. One of them might be waiting for a crucial shipment. Okay. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. Okay. Uncovering union secrets could also give you an upper hand when dealing with them. Why didn't you come to the RCM earlier? I did. On more than one occasion. Apparently, there's some sort of inter-precinct disagreement about whose jurisdiction this area falls under. We know the company has launched its own probe into the Union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCM. No one's been able to find any harm oh, evidence. Did. Okay. Well, here's your chance, officers. I had the conversation already done. Das ist eine irre lange Folge jetzt schon. Es ist nur Coincidence, the Lorians are stranded here like that, is it? No. We asked East Motor Track to raise the drawbridge. The road company is a partner of one of our subsidiaries. However, mm -hmm. this is a limited time opportunity. Once the complaint has been processed by the Trade Committee, they'll have no choice but to lower the drawbridge, and the operation will continue. Okay. Thousands of liters of raw ingredients will pour onto the streets of Revachol. Not the east across the river, but the west. The vulnerable. The weary. Okay. Well, at least this solves one mystery. 
What is that, Lieutenant? Why I had to call East Motor Track and beg them to open a drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in on my motor carriage. I am sorry for the inconvenience, Lieutenant Kisaragi, but we need them trapped here. This is a unique opportunity. I'm sure you understand. What proof do you have that the Union is involved? How do you think they're financing this strike? There are thousands of unpaid dock workers going strong for the fourth month straight. Okay. There was a shakedown of local businesses preceding the strike. Many were squeezed to bankruptcy to fund it. With all due respect to these desert cacti, the contents of a few cash registers cannot provide for 2,000 men. The local businesses can scarcely provide for themselves. So you think the strikes are just being funded? Precisely. Smuggled out of that very gate at night, most likely, then loaded onto lorries and driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find one driver who will open up to you. Okay. Sounds like she tried looking into it herself. Though she's clearly not the type your typical lorry man would confide in. I already have some suspicions that one of the drivers was present at the lynching. The two might even be connected. Or not. Though, if you have evidence to the contrary, I'm eager to hear it. As eager as I am to share it, Lieutenant, once the job is done. Okay, I've made up my mind about the smart lid. Actually, let's discuss something else. Yes? We will take this case, probe the drivers, see what it yields. Excellent. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully one of them will know something. It may come to nothing, or it may just blow the case wide open. I can okay. keep the drawbridge up for... In the meantime, let me know if there's any other way I may blah, be able blah, to... Blah, 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 Got some more questions about reality. No, thank you. That's all for now. Of course, Detective. Dieses Gespräch Take hat care. viel zu lange gedauert. Okay, meine lieben Freunde. Schauen wir uns nochmal an, was wir da gekriegt haben. Wir haben insgesamt... Zwei verschiedene Sachen gekriegt, die wir erforschen können. Je me vous, die Realization. Trevor Schultz, Special Administrative Region, Le Caillou, the Insolidian Ocean Coalition Government. Temporary Research Bonus, non. Ah, wir können es nicht internalisen, weil wir keinen Platz dafür haben. Name of the name and none of them is familiar. They seem real, but something is wrong. You feel like a kid looking at stickers on the fridge. Okay, gut. Wir können also herausfinden, wo wir sind und wer wir sind über dieses Ding hier. Und wir haben the 15th in the tribe. Temporary research bonus non. Research time 5 hours 55 at pints felt. Coupri. Tricentennial, Villiers and La Salle, names of River Sholian Indo tribes, bring into your head. Set loose at the mention of wild pines. Royal monopolies, octopuses and swordfish, most of them gone now. YBP, Expander, Saint Baptiste, Bright Star, LUM, Resplendant, East Insulindic, Welter and El Cazet. Isn't one missing? Wait, no. There were only 14. Then why do you feel like there has been a 15th in the tribe? Okay. Wir könnten das hier unlocken. Für einen skill point, weil wir haben ja drei. Und wir könnten das da internalisen. Jetzt mal als... Kostet uns 3 Stunden 25 und macht keine Mali oder Boni. Ah, nein. Passt. So. Oh. Uh. Gem Mystery. Okay, was haben wir da? Hm. Okay. Hm. 
Lass uns wieder rausgehen. Und ich hoffe, nächstes Mal sehen wir uns wieder. Bis dann.